Sony Ericsson Aino in the video preview of CellularMagazine.it Prototype, we see two colors, the white one, really, really cool, we have to say. Public announcement as this was a prototype for the announcement. Also dock is white and the Bluetooth handset. Let's go on the working one. It's charging, as you can see, the LED of the handset that is Bluetooth, 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can use your headphone. Play, forward, and rewind. Balance of the volumes. You have all the classical feature in a Bluetooth handset. The dock is sold with the phone. The phone has a huge screen of 3 inch, classical resolution 240, 320. It's a new MTS HSDPA phone, but also quadriband GSN, GPRS, and edge connection. And it's touch, this phone, but just in the multimedia. So let's see, first of all, the slide keypad, huge keys, good separation. You have all the space that you need for uh, touching, tipping the message. Really, you don't need any problem with a touch screen if you don't like it. Shortcut key cancel, so the classical Sony Ericsson menu of their software. Balance of the volume camera, camera, it's a 8 megapixel camera with uh, digital zoom, six pair, auto focusing, stabilizer, photo fix, auto face detection, geotagging. In fact, you have also GPS and also red head. Reduction. So it's not a cyber shot, but has all the characteristic, the main one of a cyber shot phone. Classical charger by Sony Ericsson. Let's go in the multimedia so we can appreciate the touch. Icons that came from the PS experience, camera, photo, music, video and radio. Radio, of course, FM with RDS. You ha can connect, uh, when you connect with the dock, you can use your headphone, Bluetooth headphone, so the dock does the antenna. Sorry, let's get back. There is a new user interface. The touch is a prototype, but it's working pretty, pretty good. This is just ringtone. Now it's finishing the song. Let's play it again. You cannot hear anything. Probably the volume is at minimum. No, it's, connect it's connected the Bluetooth. So we'll just go the music into the Bluetooth handset. Let's disconnect it. When you open it, see, it's playing the music. So you have the LED doing that trick. As you see, the latest Sony Ericsson menu, so you have also the multitasking. There is also Wi-Fi, not only for web streaming, but also to do uh, the DNA connection with uh, your TV, so you can stream your content directly on your TV. Disconnect. Okay, it's disconnecting. Continue playing the speaker. Yes. This is the audio. Really, really good quality audio, as you can hear. So let's stop it. When you have the keypad open, you cannot use the touch. In fact, the touch is just for the multimedia. This phone will arrive in Italy in October with a price of 400 euro or 450. We already don't know because uh, 
no operator has already announced it and Sony Ericsson is still deciding the price that will be announced after the summer. In the box uh, you will find an 8 gigabyte memory micro SD so no problem for all your mp3 or your video the memory inside the phone is 55 megabyte but with an expansion of the 8 gigabyte will be enough um, there is a metal in the front plastic on the back cover metal in the slide that gives some 134 grams on it with really big dimension but this is a multimedia phone so it's enough to have a big screen 104 per 55 millimeter per 15.5 millimeter so it's it's a big phone and still a prototype as you can see for cellularemagazine.it Emilio Vignapiano with the Sony Ericsson iNote